Well, I wanted my nephew, who was two, to play music. I wanted him to have music in his life, so I bought an Emma's ukulele, a blue one, and I got Andy to teach me to play Happy Birthday, and I never gave it to him. Like, as I played it, I couldn't believe, I suddenly realized as a singer, suddenly there was this vehicle for me to be able to sing in the privacy of my own home, uh, and suddenly this whole world of playing jazz uke was just on this tiny blue ukulele, so I bought him another one, and I kept that one for myself. So Ruby's ukes, when I, I was, I decided that I didn't want one-to-one -one lessons for myself. I've had lots of singing lessons, one-to-one, -one, and I wanted a group atmosphere, so an atmosphere where people play together and laugh, and they become uke buddies. And Andy worked at university for many years, and. So he, we talked about how students learn from each other as much as from the teacher. And so I got the idea of Ruby's Ukes, like to set up a ukulele school. And at that time, I was just beginning my career as, as a ukulele player. And I very carefully looked around for a teacher that I really liked. And I met Guido Heistek. And I thought, he is my man. He's funny, he's intelligent, I love his energy. And I asked him, I said, would you teach ukulele for me? He said, well, if you get if you get the students, I'll teach for you. So the first class had 12 students, and then we had two classes that had 24, and then it grew and grew, and I, we talked about the program. Um, it reflected my interest in playing melodies, it reflected his interest in playing by ear, and we grew the course, and I did a lot of the programming and promoting. The first, the first thing I did is I had 100 uh, A4 posters made and I put them all over the city saying ukulele course extraordinaire. People like saying what's extraordinaire? And I say well it's extraordinary, it's an amazing course. And then now we have eight classes, it went from two classes, beginners and intermediates, to then now we have three, three beginners classes two intermediate classes, a gospel youth class, we have eight classes a week now and over 130 students. We're going into our fifth year and I've started teaching beginners and I love it. I love seeing, they're my favourite, absolute beginners, when they, they finally get the gift of music and they they glee when they're playing and it's pretty amazing. So yeah, Ruby's Ukes has been an amazing journey for me. It was quite soon after I started playing, I remember actually going to the Vancouver Ukulele Circle and just doing my strum was just a downward strum and everyone and uh, someone said to me at the end, you just did a downward strum. I said, I know. And I, I didn't actually, suddenly I felt completely liberated. After all this jazz theory and scales and singing all the different scales and in every key which I could do, suddenly I had this instrument that meant I could just be completely natural and I felt so protected by it, it was almost like saving me, like protecting me in, in front of people and, and my voice just seemed to just come out, I stopped being nervous completely, I'd been really shy even though everyone kept saying oh you can do it and I'd always be, have the shyness and suddenly the ukulele I didn't have the shyness anymore and then Andy and I came up with the idea of a band called Black Gardenia and that would represent vintage tunes, like from the 20s, 30s, everyone always comments on me having kind of a vintage sounding voice and that's the music that I've always, always loved. I used to sing in my bedroom like quietly by myself and listening to records. And then I had the ukulele to then accompany myself. And then even though Andy and I had been married for quite a long time, we actually met um, in a jazz summer school in the south of France, he was playing guitar and I was voice. We hadn't actually, even though we were married, we didn't play together because I, and I was thinking, oh, I'll play the ukulele, it'd be fun to play with him. Before we knew it, we had the concept of Black Gardenia, these vintage tunes, 
And then we met uh, a bass player and a lap steel player and a trumpet player that we loved and before we knew it, it was the right time and Black Gardenia was born. Blue skies, smiling me Nothing but blue 